Uh, hello, um, I'm Yasser Alwen and I'm a documentary photographer and I've been working in Egypt for 20 years uh, as a, an independent documentary photographer and I've been asked to um, uh, judge uh, the photographs of the Magic Hour as part of the Cairo Camera Club. And I decided that I'd like to begin with an introduction because I saw all the photographs. Um, and uh, to me, what was very interesting about all of these photographs was the, um, the, the image in general that they have about uh, Egypt or whatever the subject was. Uh, for me, the photographs looked very, very beautiful at one level. Um, and yet, although there are, I assume, many, many different photographers who made these photographs, the idea behind the picture seemed to be similar, although the photographers are probably very different people, from one from the other. So my question was, where is the personality of the photographer in the photograph? Um, that's what seemed to be missing, or let me say it in another way. Most of these photographs look very beautiful as postcards. Um, so is that the concept that um, you as photographers are using in order to make these images? Uh, are you trying to put your personality into the photograph or your experiences as a person into the photograph or you just want to make um, pretty postcard pictures for your friends? There's nothing right and there's nothing wrong. It's just a question to ask for the people in the camera club. Um, and for me, that's the critical issue in photography. Uh, we always photograph the outside world, but we photograph the outside world with our personalities. And I've been looking very hard for the personalities of the different photographers in these images. And it's been very hard for me to find. And for those of you who participated in this context, um, I'd ask you to look at all of the photographs together and see if you can find different personalities at work in these different images. Um, I couldn't do that very well, but what I did find is a general view of photography that is very close to what I would say a touristic kind of photography. Um, and so I want to ask the Egyptians who were part of the camera club, you're not tourists in your country. Where is your experience and where is your personality vis-a-vis -vis your country and vis-a-vis, -vis, of course, the subject matter that you were asked to photograph? Now I'll speak specifically about the different images. Okay, this is supposed to be magic hour, but the most interesting thing about this picture for me is the difference between the trees, the construction taking place on this building and the sky, which is... Um, which is, seems to be the most important element of the photograph for the photographer. And, and because I kind of look at the photograph and try to figure out what the photographer was thinking about, I'd give this picture a two. This picture doesn't strike me as very interesting at all. Uh, sure, there's a solitary person going off into the wilderness, but I've seen a few thousand pictures like this one. There's nothing that gets me to stay in the picture for a long time, so I'd give it a one. I'd give this picture a one, too, because it's a photograph that reminds me of so many other photographs that I've seen that are even more interesting than this one. And I'd give this picture a one. I'm kind of curious about the mountains and where the scene was taken, but the photograph doesn't transform the scene into something that really wants me to be there. Um, there was potential to do that in this image, I think, but it just doesn't work for me. Uh, again, it's a very pretty and attractive image, but I've seen lots and lots of images like this before. So, um, it, it doesn't really strike me as being an image that uh, I would define as anything uh, that's unique to that particular photographer, but is unique to a kind of genre of photography. I would say is also uh, a one. Uh, what's most interesting about number two for me is the equation between the trees and on the very left-hand side, the power lines. Um, 
I don't know if the photographer intended that or not, but that's where my eye goes, and I'd like to see somebody play with that theme. Um, another one, one star. Uh, another very beautiful postcard-like image in which I don't see the photographer's experience very much. This image is two stars for me because I'm spending time looking at the different forms and formations in the water reflected. Uh, this image seems to be a very, very traditional image, one that we see all the time, and so I would give it one star only. This image is technically weak. Uh, I'm lost. The, the people, I assume, are an important part of the subject matter, and yet they're lost uh, in the photograph with the trees and the darkness that's in the bottom half or bottom third of the image. So I'd give this one star, uh, but it's, it's a weak photograph, technically speaking. Uh, the architectural forms are the most important part of this picture and the contradiction or the contrast uh, between the architectural forms and the two women who are sitting in the foreground. And so this would be a two-star photograph for me. But it doesn't really transform the subject into something else. I would give this two stars because of the palm fronds up at the very top. Otherwise, it would have been quite an ordinary, traditional picture of a woman sitting along the water, maybe contemplating something. I wish I could feel her contemplating, but I don't. But what's interesting for me are the palm fronds uh, at the very top of the image. I'm in love with Cairo, and so I can see Cairo, and it looks like it's taken from the Cairo Tower. Um, the colors are very beautiful. Um, it looks like a wonderful postcard, and I'd, send, I'd suggest that this photographer try to market it that way. I'd give it two stars. Uh, this is one of the most traditional images around. Um, I'd give it one star, and I'd much prefer to see a sunset for real than an image of a sunset like this. The color in this image drew me to it more than anything else. The aqua blue of the bridge uh, is what attracts my eye. And as long as my eye is attracted, I'd give it two stars. I've seen images like this in tourist books. Um, looks like a fisheye camera or a fisheye lens or a very wide angle lens. Um, and it doesn't really transform the subject. Um, it's, a, it's a technical um, gimmick rather than an experience of being in, uh, in this wonderful environment. So I'd give it one star. There could be so much done with this particular image. Um, and it could have easily been three stars uh, had the photographer worked on this a bit more. I'd give it two stars. Uh, I'd give this image um, one star. I've seen photographs like this of different parts of the Egyptian desert, um, some more and some less successful. Uh, but it doesn't transform the subject to me. Another very traditional sunset picture, so I think this only deserves one star. This picture um, has a transformative effect. It doesn't, it's not a traditional sunset picture. Uh, there's a sense of atmosphere and contemplation here, and so I'd actually give this photograph three stars, although it doesn't appear that way at the beginning. It sort of grows on you, this image. A silhouette maybe of some rock formations in the white desert that I've seen many times before, so I'd give it one star. I like the panorama effect because the panorama effect works very, very well uh, with the foreground lake and the background um, architecture. But again, it's really a 
technical issue rather than one of the photographer's experience being imposed on, on the subject matter. And so I'd stay with two stars. This was the most interesting image for me and three stars. For um, this image to become something else is, is what happens when I see a good photograph, that whatever that... Um, whatever the subject matter is becomes transformed into an alien creature or a microscopic image of, uh, of an insect, but the photograph takes on qualities that are far beyond the subject matter, and so I'd give this uh, three stars. Uh, I don't know where we are in this picture, uh, and my eye is looking very curiously at a subject matter that I don't know, but my eye doesn't really go very far inside the subject, and so I'd stay with two stars. Another, for me, very traditional postcard image, very beautiful, but um, not very transformative of the subject, and so I'd give this one star. Very much the same, as I said, for the previous image. Pretty colors, um, very traditional scene, uh, but where's the photographer in this picture? This is also a very interesting image for me because I keep looking at it and trying to figure out what it is. Of course, I can tell that it's some sort of cityscape, but, but the silhouette in this picture has transformed the cityscape into something else, something a bit threatening. And that, that feeling is what uh, draws me to the picture and uh, tells my mind and my heart to give this three stars. This image is not very interesting for me. Um, the setting, the boy, or the background architecture are not dealt with very, very well for me. Uh, the photographer is trying to include everything, and it seems that nothing is included, and it's, it seems flat and superficial. I'd give this one star. Another traditional sunset. Um, I know that sunsets are very difficult, uh, but I'd give this one star. I think I'd love to be up in that uh, glider or on that parachute, but I don't feel uh, up there in this picture. Uh, one star. The most interesting thing here, of course, is the movement of the birds. Uh, automatically, as my eye crosses the photograph, I want to give this two stars. Beyond that, uh, it doesn't go anywhere for me. One tends to think of Cairo as a city being without plants and without animals. Uh, this photograph reminds me that there are uh, animals, and the natural formation of the birds and the architectural formation of the city makes me give this three stars. I don't know where we are. It looks like a nice place to be. Um, it's a very beautiful scene, but beyond that, um, it doesn't go anywhere for me. Um, I would give this one star. Uh, another beautiful place. Uh, but I'm always outside of the place because the photographer isn't somehow including me into the experience of being there. Another one star.